Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 4 of my Men 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell, that'd be brill. Thank you. Firstly, there won't be any King Tiger builds for a week or so as I'm up to date on the videos. I haven't filmed that much over the past couple of weeks as I wanted to get the Fokker ready for Selweg, which is the South East London Wargaming Show on Sunday the 17th of October 2021. But hopefully it will be back at the end of next week and I can get some work done on it. In the meantime, on the Fokker, we're going to carry on with the engine. So without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. What we're doing here is just cleaning up where the glue pushed out the plastic. I'm using my knife, a metal file, only gently, and a makeup brush to clear any debris out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. There we go, that's the engine done. Now to move on to cleaning up the cylinder heads and the valve rockers. So let's get those done, shall we? Well, we've managed to clean them up a right treat. Now, quick check of the destructions and we can move on to getting these parts fitted to the cylinders. So, let's get this lot done, shall we? That's the cylinder heads done, all nine of them. Now for the valve rockers. Thank you. 
there we have the cylinder block with heads and rockers fitted. This will hopefully look awesome when we finish. We already prepped the exhaust and rocker arms in the previous episode, so now they're also ready and prepped for priming. Now for some spraying. I did the priming off camera. Yes, I know, I forgot. I've used Mr. Colour 1500 primer and I add half a tin of matte black enamel to it to give it the dark grey colour. Anyhow, here I'm using the linen colour I used for the Wingnut Wings Dolphin and I'm spraying the seat support and the inside of the fuselage with it. So, here we go. There we go, that's those done. On the fuselage, I gave them a couple of light coats, then a wet coat. A wet coat is fairly self-explanatory. You go over the piece until it's wet, but not so wet that it runs. It's a real fine balancing game to get that right. Now for some of the metal parts. For the fuel tank, I'm using Alclad's 113 airframe aluminium. This stuff doesn't need thinning. You can use it straight out of the bottle and it goes down an absolute treat. Next up is the back of the seat. Now for some of the other components in the office, so the compass, the fuel gauge, the exhaust, etc, etc, etc. There we go, that's those components done. Now for the firewall betwixt engine and office. There we go, that's the firewall complete. And as you can see, we've fixed the strut that was broken. Now to clean it up and give it a spot of matte black paint. Here goes. There we go. You'd never believe it was initially broke, would you? Also, I added a dob of super glue for extra support. Now, to mask off the wooden area in the cockpit. Let's get this done.
there we go that's the inside of the fuselage done where the wood is now for the seat and then the floor of the office here we go Now to give these wood and leather parts a base colour. We're using Tamiya XF78 wooden deck tan as ours. So let's get this done. I really do have to sort out where my hands are for things like this. Really sorry folks. There we go, that's the basing done. Now for a bit of hairy stick action. Oh yeah. There we go, that's those bits painted. Now to do the leather seat cushion. I'm using my homebrew leather colour here, which is 80% mahogany, that's Vallejo 71.036, and 20% insignia white, that's Vallejo 71.279. And then an equal measure of homebrew thinners. Right, let's get this done. Next, the office floor. Use a stiff brush to give it the wavy lines of wood grain. And there we go, jobby jobbed. Now to move on to the wood on the inside of the fuselage. There we go, that's the first coat of wood on the inner fuselage. Anywho, this seems like as good a place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 4. If you want to see what happens in episode 5, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.